Hey guys, I'm Tim from the Boys and Girls Club, and just want to tell you guys that I miss you guys a lot, and I hope you guys are being safe, staying indoors, washing hands, etc., etc. But today I'm going to show you guys that we're going to do a painting of a man on the moon. So for this piece, the only supplies that you kind of need to have is like a watercolor set. It doesn't even have to be fancy like mine. Or anything like that, but you also need like an old kind of worn down brush that's stuck together. And I'm using black and white ink, but you can replace that with paint or anything around the house that you have. And then I'm also using ink markers. You don't even have to use ink markers. You can use everyday normal drawing markers and stuff like that. And we're also going to use a trash, a piece of plastic or whatever this is. So. So the first thing that you want to do in this piece is actually work on the background first. It's a lot easier to work on backgrounds in most pieces and then you work into the front of it. So the first thing we're going to do with it is we're going to wet our brush down. We're going to wet this your paper up pretty good. We're going to make it sloppy. So that's what I'm doing right now. Alright, so we're going to do a man on the moon, right? So that means we are going to be in space. So just wet the whole paper down. You don't even have to be fancy or neat or anything like that. And then what I'm going to do is, for your watercolor pa paints or whatnot, this is your space. I mean, you can put any colors you want in space. There's all sorts of colors in space. So I'm going to do basic black. And I'm going to put some blues. Where's my blues at? There we go. some greens in now because you know it's my space I don't really care. Alright now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a plastic bag or whatever you guys have chose for your plastic. I'm just gonna place it down on the water cover table like so. Crumple it up, it's all nice and crumply. You're gonna put it on there. Get like a weight on it too. You don't need something that pushes it down just a little bit, you know? So I'm gonna use my old sketchbook right here and I'm just gonna let it dry. So after you let everything dry, if it comes out a little bit light, you can always put a second coat on it. Uh, you kinda wanna have darker values in this and have a little bit darker saturation with it, so I'm gonna put another layer on it. And don't be afraid to mix up the colors too if you want to. So it would be more in depth with the water bubble itself. So I'm gonna go back over it with stronger greens. plastic bag on there. This time I'm going to put it on light. I'm going to couple it up and just smack it on there. There we go. And we're just going to let it dry again. Alright, see you in a few. So now, since we got everything dried, we got the background going on with all these crazy colors, I'm going to take the white ink that I'm using, put a little bit on there. Remember, if you don't have white ink, you can totally use uh, white out, white paint, anything like that. It's just easy to get on. So something easy to spend. And I took one of my uh, not so great paintbrushes and I put it on there and I'm just going to do this now. Okay. I like that. And now, what I'm going to do now is get my not so great paint, more of my not so great paintbrushes. I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to use the black ink. And I'm gonna do this freehand. You guys are welcome to draw this out and stuff like that, but when we're, we are now gonna make the circumference of the moon. So I'm gonna bam, 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 bam. There we go. And I'm just gonna put it like right here, like a piece of the moon sticking out. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be the most expert paint on the planet. As 
long as it shows up. And then we're gonna get another not so good paintbrush, this one. This one has like brush weed colors to it. I mean, it's more brush weed, that's what I mean. And I'm just gonna kind of test it out and I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna dab it. Beginning to kind of look like it, and then I'm gonna add more ink to it though. Make it look nice on. And then, last but not least, you don't have to make a fancy moon man, but probably a good looking moon man. So, what I'm gonna do is take one of my my fancy little ink markers. Remember, you can just use normal marker, black marker. I'm just gonna draw a little guy right here. A little, right there. And then, put them together. And, just gonna make him do a nice little thick stick figure, guys. Make a cool looking little moon, the moon man on it. Alright, so I hope you guys uh, try this out. Hope you guys are being safe and thank you.